Hi, Kathy here from Kathy's Cute Creations. Today we're going to embellish a kitchen towel with ruffles. Let's get started. So today I'm going to use this towel from my kitchen. I'm going to use these two fabrics. This is a fat quarter and this is a curtain that I had from this project. You want to find out the width of the towel and then you want to cut your fabric two times the width. Now what I've done for my project here is I cut, and these are going to be ruffles, so the two different colors are going to be two different ruffles. The ruffle on the bottom for mine is five inches. The next ruffle is three and a half, and then the band that covers the top is two inches. But you can make yours any size you want. Take it over to the iron and iron it all. And then you want to fold it in half. If you had to take and cut two pieces like I did here, because this was too short, then you're going to want to go ahead and sew the two seams together and iron them. For the third piece, which is the band, that's what I'm calling it. And if you don't want to use a band and you've got a ribbon that's three quarters inch or half inch you can put a ribbon across it I'm gonna go ahead and match the fabric with my uh, first ruffle and what I've done when I ironed it instead of ironing it in half I ironed it once towards the middle but not to the not at the middle just short of the middle by about an eighth to a quarter of an inch and then went ahead and folded over this way this seam won't be sticking out because what I want is I want this seam right here to be at the bottom covering the top of the ruffles. Doesn't need to be perfect. This is your first time making this, so don't worry about it, don't stress. The only stressing you got is to decide which piece of fabric you want for the bottom ruffle and which one for the top. So the one that I made bigger, I'm putting at the bottom, and then I'm putting this salmon color, I think is what it is, at the top. So you're just drawing a, drawing huh <laughs> you're just sewing a straight line down your fabric <laughs> at the largest length and staying right on the edge with my foot that's my first row of stitches tail. Let me see how easy this is to do. That'll tell me whether I need to have two rows or one. Okay. All right, so one looks like it will be enough. And you take it, hold on to it, and then pull your fabric. Just slowly feed it down because you're creating a ruffle. Let's see if I can go this way with it. I'm just trying to move my ruffle down there. And I'm using not the bobbin, but the top thread to pull this, to make this. Start at the other end. I'm already at my halfway point because this is that piece of fabric that I had to join the two pieces to make it long enough. So just, and if you do one thread and that's all you sew, then you want to be really careful because if you break it, you got to redo it. Most times people use two threads. can determine how big you want your ruffle after we put the after we get the first one done and we lay it out on the towel let's do a little bit more and make it tighter you can always take it out okay all right set this one aside and then go ahead and do the bigger piece
Okay, so now you would lay your towel out. I've got it all bunched up here. Fold your, this is the end. You want to fold it a quarter of an inch, and then you want to fold it again a quarter of an inch, because what you're doing is it's like burying your seam. If you feel better about ironing it, you can iron it, that's fine. Then you lay it down the corner, and what I'm doing is I'm putting it, oh, I'm going to have my towel about this much sticking off. And then you're going to sew. First you're going to pin this on here. And then we'll come back and we'll sew this up the side. All I'm doing right now is just pinning it. And then you want to lay this down, your, your pleated fabric. And you're laying it down to get an idea if this is needs to be taken in. And I can pull this in a little bit more. Keeping in mind that I also have to be able to fold this in over here. So take that thread and cut some of that off. Now that we're at the tail end here, we don't need to be pulling on it. Okay. So fold it under, just like the other side, and fold it again. And then you're going to put it on this corner. And you're going to pin it. Oops, my piece came off. Let me get my scragglies off of there now. Okay. Once to me, twice to me, and then the corner here. And then I'll pin it. And let's make sure the ends are down about the same amount. Pin in, put a pin in. And then all you're doing is making sure that you have it at least down that much. You can flip it over and look at it, just like this. Move this tag here. Just like that. That's what the way we're going to pin it, all the way across. So just take it, and you're slowly pinning it. And that's it, all the way across there. So now you got one of two choices. You can either take this and take your next ruffle, which I've got this one here done. And you do the same thing. Actually, what we can do, if you're going to do it this way, Take it and roll it together, and they'll be combined like that when they go down your side here. Okay, and then just pin it right there. Trying to avoid pinning myself. This is a pretty thick towel. There we go. And then take the next one and just attach it right there. In this case, we need to put the ruffle down a little bit because it needs to ruffle down here. So you're going to have to slowly feed it since this didn't have a ruffle at the end. Just like that. The other thing that you can do, instead of putting this one on top, is you could actually just sew the bottom one on first, then come back and sew the top one on if you want. 
I'm going to see if I can pin the two together and then I'll be right back. I managed to pin all of that ruffle to the other ruffle. And now I'm going to sew it. And first what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew up this edge coming to me. which will attach it to the towel. Let's get it right on the edge. And then once I get up here, I'm going to try to do is follow the line of stitching which is on the pleats and so as I go along here I'm going to make sure I kind of flatten out these pleats now I've taken my length from the five which was the biggest and I've gone down to three and I'm gonna see if that'll work and I'm gonna make sure and pull out all my pins as I go along Giving you a better view or not? Let's see here. Coming down to the end of this. down this side of this right here. And I've got all my fabric down there wrapped. We fold it. And then fold this one up and this one down. It'll stay together better. And then put it over like that. And then pin it. Well, I gotta still move it down further. There we go, it's too high. I'm trying to get that, there we go. I'm gonna put two pins in it, just like that, which will hold it. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it down and you're laying it this last, this seam here, where you've got it folded over, you're just laying it right on top, exactly over that sewing line. And then I'm gonna pin it this way, because I'm gonna sew it this way. So go along the whole thing and pin it when I get it finished pinning, I'll bring it back and show it to you. Okay, so there's the band pinned. And I did it the same way on each end so that it's rolled around the back. Same with this side. It's rolled around the back. And you can go to the back here and you can adjust it. I'll, I've only got it held with one pin. So I lift it up on this fabric. I folded it over first. Then I lift it up at the bottom and down on the top. And then all I did, here, let's roll that a little. So it goes in, fold it over. And then all you do is fold it over the edge 
and you're going to be sewing it down. That's it. And then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the fabric and you're going to sew right here along this line, which is hiding that. Can you see that? See that little bit of thread right there? That's all you're doing. You're covering that and you're, and you're sewing all the way down. So we'll sew on both sides. You're going to sew first on the side that is over the ruffle. And then from there, you'll sew on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up from the corner because the corner is going to be pretty tough. So I'm going to start probably about an inch from the corner and we'll come back and do the corner. And just take your time. Lock it into place. And I am right on the edge. I'm just trying to catch this little band right here. Just take your time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come up so that'll be locked into place. pins on this. What I want to do is I want to go on the edge of this band now coming up the other direction so you're just going to make sure that it's tucked in and what I'm doing is make sure that your towel underneath if you want to cut this off that's fine you can cut it off up underneath the ruffle here if you'd like it's okay I didn't so you want to make sure that it's pulled down with the ruffle so it doesn't get caught and then tuck this in and then you're slowly coming down. And I'm just going to do a section at a time. Right down to my thumb here. And stop with it. Oops. Make sure this is down. That's tucked in. Got our finished product. This one here that's in the pink and blue was my practice piece. But that's a pretty nice looking towel, if I do say so myself. And like I said, if you want, you can use ribbon here. You don't have to use the fabric. I just want it to match these ruffles down here. It's the same fabric. That's all with the flowers. But that's a nice addition to your towels in your kitchen if that's what you want. If you think that this is too thick for you to do, then what you can do is you can put the hem on one piece of the fabric. This one I was teaching you how to do the ruffles to begin with, how we left the hem off. This is not double folded. You can do that for that towel. The only difference is now what you want to do is you're going to want to turn it upside down and you're going to want to turn under the hem. So you're going to turn it under once and you're going to iron it like I showed you at the ironing board. And then you're going to roll it over again. And that's when you're, after you roll it the second time, you want to pin it and then you want to go ahead and sew it. And then when you get done, it'll be sewn. That's if you don't feel like you can do the double thickness like we did on the towel there. Another way that you can do it if you feel like it was too much. So I hope you like this video and you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends about it and make a lot of these towels for your kitchen or you can make these as gifts. Take care till next time. Bye bye.